So I'm in Active Directory Administrative Center and currently I've got Dynamic Access Control Area open and I can see all my resource properties. Now I've actually enabled most of these already. You can see by the icon it's not disabled, but I could right click and enable other properties. That's really all I have to do in the ADAC other than potentially setting some values. So for saying like company or project location, I'm gonna add some company names, locations, etc. On my file server, I'll actually see those classification properties. I might have to do a refresh if I've changed any of that global Active Directory configuration, but I can see them all here. Then I create classification rules. So the only ones I've got enabled right now is about setting the PII, the personally identifiable information for social security numbers and American Express card numbers. And I can open one of these up. And you can see the key things we care about is the scope of what type of data and where, the classification, so I'm using content, but I could use PowerShell or the folder. I'm configuring if I find this match, so a sequence of three numeric, two numeric, four numeric. And I'm gonna set that PII classification property to moderate. And I'm not gonna reevaluate if there's existing property values. So that's my rules. I would go and enable or create rules as I needed. I configure my classification schedule. So I can have a fixed schedule to maybe run Saturday at 1 a.m., but also allow continuous classification for new files. So at this point, as I create data, it would classify that data automatically. So I jump in here to my test area. And let's say I'll just create a new text document, test three. This is a test and I'm just gonna put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Test, test. So this would actually be a match for social security number. Now if I look at it now and look at classification, I should be quick enough Oh, it's already done it. So I wasn't quick enough. It actually captured that as I was saving the data. So remember my schedule was, as new data is written, it did the scan, it found the social security number and it automatically classified it as moderate. And that's it. And now, beyond that, I can have tasks. This isn't gonna work on a text document. I can't RMS protect a text document. But if it was a Word document, this rule then says, well, look, for those files in these locations, I want to RMS protect, I'm going to use this template, if personally identifiable information is greater than public, so moderate high, and the schedule I've got running continuously, so it's constantly going to do this. So if it's a Word document, it would also RMS protect this data. So let's try this on a Word document. I'm going to jump over to my client, I'm going to create a new Word document. We call it test four. And I'm just going to say, this is a test. And then that same number combination, test, test, whatever. And I'm going to save it and close it. So we can see now this is 12 kilobytes in size. This is going to take a little while for this to get actioned. So I'm going to jump back over to my file server. I can see that test for document is there. And if I look right now, the classification has not happened yet. This is now a Word document. It's an Office document. It's going to be a filter driver used here to actually work out this classification. What we'll see in a second is like a temporary file created. Notice it just bumped up to 142. So something's happened to this file. If I look at the properties again, it's now got that PII set, but also it should have now had that RMS policy applied. So if I go back to that file and open it, and actually if I do a refresh, you'll see the size is different here as well. But now look, it now has an RMS policy applied. And if I look, I can see, yep, that's the RMS policy I have configured actually in that task. So that worked, that live actually classified the data and then actually applied 
the correct task that I actually had configured. So go to my action, it was at no print copy, it applied that. That's literally it. I mean, that's the sort of end result and that's as complicated as it gets. Now I don't also have the data classification toolkit. And so if you were gonna run this for the first time, you've downloaded it, installed it, you do import the classification. So this is gonna be your staging. It's gonna be on my local host. For baseline configuration, in my lab here, you're seeing this standard data classification toolkit package. I'm gonna continue with global properties from Active Directory. I can set locations. And I can say, hey, look, which RMS template do I wish to use? There's a few other configurations you can make, which credentials to use, and you're done. It's then gonna set up all those baselines for you. But again, before you try and use that data classification toolkit, make sure you did go into Active Directory and you enable, because by default, these are all disabled. Make sure you want to enable the ones that you need. So things like personal identifiable information, uh, maybe immutable. Just go and enable a bunch of those and you should be good to go. That's our really quick look at FCI.